friends, what's up? I hope you're doing great. Today we're uh, going to be talking about something very exciting, and that is uh, 10 books. <laughs> yeah, that's very exciting. I mean, it is exciting because they're all from different genres, and they're all awesome. So it's not just like a, a TBR, or but like 10 book recommendations that I loved and enjoyed, enjoyed, tried and tested, okay? Um, so let's get started. We've got thriller, we've got a classic, nonfiction, um, and then another one that's nonfiction, but not really. So it's like film, TV, kind of cheated there, but you'll be glad I did. Um, romance, horror, fantasy, yeah, even fantasy that I don't read, but there was one book that I really enjoyed. And um, alternate history, poetry, literary fiction. Yeah, just a little warning. I just had a cup of coffee that I usually try to avoid, but I'm on vacation and uh, I'm just trying to make up an excuse. Sorry. But um, <laughs> anyway, so I'm not serene today. I'm anxious. Anxious sloth. By the way, I tried to choose books that I haven't previously mentioned on my channel, so you get some cool new ideas. The first book is a thriller, and it is Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's a very fast-paced thriller. Like It will get you out of a reading slump if you're in a reading slump, and um, it, it has a great plot twist. It's basically about this woman who had an accident and she can't form new memories. So she goes to sleep and she can't rem remember what she did the previous day. Um, and so one day she decides to seek help and her doctor tells her that she should keep a journal. And then she decides to hide this journal from her husband. And then it gets interesting. So you don't, I love that you don't really know who to trust. Like, is she crazy? Uh, do you trust, like, is it, is the husband telling the truth? Like, is the doctor telling the truth? What's going on? And I believe there's also a movie. Um, I'm looking at Nicole Kidman. That there is a movie. It, it says so on the cover. Sorry. <laughs> now a major film starring Nicole Kidman, Colin Firth, and Mark Strong. So, yes, I haven't seen it, but... The, the book is great. So yes, that's my thriller recommendation. And then the next book is a classic. And I know I could have chosen Frankenstein because I, I love Frank or Alice in Wonderland. Those are my favorite classics. But I chose The Time Machine that I think is a just brilliant book. It's also science fiction. Um, and it talks about this traveler and the traveler goes to the year 800,000 and he meets the descendants of men, the Eloi and the Morlocks, at which Wells um, wanted, like he introduced these two groups to illustrate the cl class differences in the time period when he was alive. And what I like about this book um, are the philosoph all the philosophical questions and I think it's a great book, book for a book club or uh, for a discussion. And it's also historically important. That's why I want you to read it is because A.G. Wells was the one who popularized time travel. And he was the one who came up with the term time machine. Um, and he also inspired many other science fiction authors. So it's a very, very important book. And just a great read. For my nonfiction recommendation, I've got Dataclism, Who We Are When We Think No One's Looking by Christian Rudder. Christian Rudder was a um, was the co-founder of a dating website called OkCupid, and it was that experience that inspired him to write his book, this book and share his findings on human behavior. And it's just an amazing read if you're interested in data, uh, math, analytics. I mean, even if you're not, if you're just interested interested in human behavior, human psychology, uh, you'll, you'll love this. So please go ahead and, and read. Yeah, he, he explores a lot of questions like how Facebook likes can predict your um, intelligence or even sexual orientation. And it was just, it, it's just a lot of fun. The next book is Inside Black Mirror. You guys, if you have seen the show on Netflix, you, you have to read. It's a must read. It's a must read. So um, 
there's an in-depth analysis of each episode through their, their interviews with um, the producer, the creator, and the actors. And it's just, um, just amazing. There are a lot of behind the scenes um, secrets and uh, it's just beautiful. I love this episode. Oh, this is a disturbing one, but uh, love it. Love Black Mirror. You, you, you need to read this. And The Rosie Project. I love a good romance with a nerdy character in it. <laughs> and Don Tillman, the main character, is like your perfect nerd. He's a professor of genetics. And he is not, he's just not sure if he's capable of true love, but he does believe in the statistical probability that he, he may be able to to find somebody for him because everybody has their own soulmate right I mean that's what he says there's a probability right and so he decides to make a questionnaire and find the perfect wife so he he embarks on this on the wife project and he finds rosy and it just it's just beautiful the next one is alternate history slash science fiction and it is machines like me i know i talked about it before on my channel i think it was my in my very first video that i did on ian McEwan's books that i read uh, and there are seven and he's an amazing author so please check him out um i didn't care much about the alternate history part of this book but you may enjoy it because, if, especially if you like history and um, more specifically um, British history, I think I think it's a great read. But I love the science fiction aspect of it because there is a couple in this book who decides to adopt a robot. I mean, this um, artificial human and. The artificial human lives with them and there is a love triangle and it gets very interesting. And of course, I what I really enjoyed were the um, philosophical questions. And again, it would be great for a discussion on robots and artificial intelligence in general. You guys are not going to believe this, but there is a fantasy that I want to recommend. <laughs> I'm a joke, I know. In the other video that I filmed for the uh, um, tag, the philosophy of reading tag, there was a question, um, which are the two genres that you just can't get into? And I said, young adult and fantasy. And this is young adult fantasy. I'm a joke, I know. But Hear me out, okay? This is a great, great book because it is about books and about just the, the joy of reading. There is a girl and um, her father reads her stories, but he's also able to read characters out of stories. And not all of them are very nice characters. And that's what this book is is about so there are a lot of um there's a lot of trouble when the bad characters get out and but there are some good ones as well and i feel like the characters are really really well done and it's a great read for me it was mostly nostalgic and that's why i enjoyed it because i don't really read fantasy but if you read fantasy and if you like young adult or young adult fantasy you'll just you'll love this book the next recommendation is fragments of horror by junji ito and it's horror which is a genre i don't read either so yay <laughs> i really enjoyed this though so you can imagine how how good this is um junji ito is the master of horror manga and it really shows in this collection of of stories. Oh, there's like a little there's like a little something. Yeah. There are a lot of um stories that haunted me for days after 
I read them. But I like the fact that it's not just horror for the sake of horror. Um, the stories are very different, very weird, and um, there are very good twists as well. And I want to show you, but at the same time, I, I don't want to disturb you. But if you want to read a, a good horror manga, it's this is this is has got to be your choice. The next one is Soleil de Nuit by Jacques Prévert. And it actually, I just want to introduce you to the author, to the um, French author Jacques Prévert, who is one of my favorite poets, to be honest. I and he he was the one who inspired me to write my own poems in French, because French is just a beautiful language to write poems in. And um, I want to read a poem by Jacques Prévert to you. Because he's just, he's amazing. So, the dunce, it's called the dunce. He says no with his head, but he says yes with his heart. He says yes to what he loves. He says no to the teacher. He stands, he's questioned, and all the problems are posed. Sudden laughter seizes him, and he erases all. The words and figures, names and dates, sentences and snares, and despite the teacher's threats to the jeers of infant prodigies, with chalk of every color on the blackboard of misfortune, he draws the face of happiness. That that yeah, that just destroyed me. But it's it, it's beautiful, and it's even more beautiful in French. But just read Jacques Prévert you will not regret it. And then for my literary fiction recommendation, I chose The Secret Lives of Church Ladies. Uh, this is a collection of nine short stories about nine different women. And you will definitely find a woman who you will be able to connect with. I know I did. And um, also the author is from Florida. And I, I used to live in Alabama. So there, there, was, there were a lot of um, references to the South and um, there was, uh, you know, the neighborhoods, the, the food, uh, there's peach cobbler. And it just felt, this book felt like home, like my second home. Um, plus, I listened to it on audio and the, the, um, the narrator had a Southern accent. Uh, it, just a, a wonderful collection of stories. Hi, I'm editing this video and I just, sorry, am I disturbing you? I'm sorry. Um, so I forgot to say bye. So I just want to say bye. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.